Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. Thanks for being here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my new vlogging camera. It is the Sony ZV-E1, which was just released today, and our local camera store had it. Shout out to George's Camera over in Claremont. Basically, I got this camera for two main reasons. The first one is it's compact, small, and lightweight. I'm currently shooting on the Sony a7 IV, and while it's great for video and photography, I kind of wanted something smaller so that when I'm out there vlogging, I feel a little bit more discreet and I don't have this ginormous camera with me. I've also been shooting with APS-C lenses with the a7 IV and kind of just dealing with the vignettings on the corners by using active stabilization. Um, this camera also has a new feature called dynamic stabilization, which adds to the stabilized footage for clips. So basically it crops in more than active stabilization does and then it uses AI to kind of stabilize the footage. A lot of that you can do in post, but I figured if you can do it in camera, it takes a step away in post-production and your workflow for vlogging at least is a lot quicker. So those are kind of two of my main reasons for buying this camera and switching over. There's a other few reasons um, that I want to go into and then as I'm like playing with the camera I'll talk about it but before we get into that let's just do a quick unboxing of the camera. Here is the Sony ZV-E1 camera. If you guys are familiar with Sony bodies they usually come in a black and orange sort of box so I'm kind of liking this minimal feel you have the little illustration vector image right here of the camera body they kind of took a note from Apple and made the box extra small because the camera is very small yeah I kind of like this minimal look let's go ahead and unbox this real quick Okay, so we just unboxed the Sony ZV-E1, and like I said earlier, the unboxing experience for Sony cameras are generally not that great, <laughs> but I wanted to film it anyways. First impression is this guy is so freaking light. Without the battery, it feels like nothing. I am actually thoroughly impressed with how light it feels, but how good in the hands it feels. It feels very, still high quality which you know I really appreciate um, I'm very one of these people who kind of appreciate good design in products this actually feels really good so let's go ahead and pop in the battery I haven't charged it but that's fine also comes with a little dead cat which you plop in here for the microphone so that if you're out and about in windy conditions it should hopefully block off some of that wind so yeah, like I was saying earlier, the main two reasons for this was the compact size as well as the image stabilization. We're gonna go ahead and test the dynamic stabilization a bit later. Some other notable features that I would just go down this list and we'll go ahead and test everything out is a product showcase. Basically, when you try to show a product or something, it should focus on this right away with, because I have eye detect on, I kind of have to block my face to show this. Um, but with product showcase, it's like a quick button and if I do this with my face still in it, it'll focus on here. I think that's really good for my kind of vlog setup because I like to show you guys a lot of food that I eat all the time or just like products that I wanna share with you. So I'm interested in testing that. This camera also has a lot of AI features. The one I am most interested in is called AI-based auto framing, which basically means if you set your camera up like this and you're recording like I am now, as I move within the frame, the camera will crop in and move with me almost as if there's like a cameraman following you. If you guys are familiar with Center Stage with Apple, I believe their iPads have the feature. It also does the same thing. It'll crop in and follow you. I feel like that would be great for like cooking segments or if you're trying to show something and you just have your camera on a tripod and you want to move about. It adds a little bit more of dynamic footage versus just being stationary or having a crop in post or having to edit that to look like that in post. As a newbie vlogger, I am not very skilled in a editing video yet so to put that in camera is a really great feature to me. Another thing I want to talk about is also the zoom rocker. So this has a uh, 
zoom rocker right here, which is Y to Tele. And basically in older cameras that had this, it was because they had an electronic lens where you can use this to zoom versus actually twisting the lens. But Sony has a feature called clear image zoom, which basically also crops in to the image without losing much quality. So for example, I am shooting on a 11 millimeter lens right now. And so that's stuck at 11 millimeters here. But if I zoom in with this, it'll clear image zoom to get you more reach so that you can zoom into an object or if you're traveling or a person, it's basically making your lens a zoom lens without losing much image quality, if that makes sense. I'll test it out. I'll show you guys what I mean. I hope I'm explaining that right. Also again, this is not very scientific. This isn't a tech review. There are a ton of videos out there for that. This is kind of just like why as a newbie, new vlogger, I chose to go with this, this camera over a camera that I have here. So yeah, this is kind of just my first impressions without being like a professional videographer, you know? I'm also interested in this sound quality because I have a Sony mic here and sometimes I wanna go out in public without putting a mic so that Again, I'm more discreet. And then the last reason I got this is because it has the same sensor as the A7S III, which is one of their professional mirrorless camera lines that are video first. Basically what the S stands for in the A7S line is sensitivity, meaning you can record in really low light. I'm not really sure how that all works. I just know it's supposed to record really well in very dim lighting. If you're a vlogger, you know very well that if you're going out at night, your camera probably looks like crap. It's grainy unless you have a really fast lens. All right, so I am gonna switch you guys out to this camera and everything else on this video is going to be recorded with the Sony ZV-E1. Okay guys, it has been some time since I last recorded that clip. I just had to get all my settings in order so I knew where everything was, all the buttons. But just to give you guys an idea of my a7 IV, this is kind of how big the body is with this. And then this is the uh, 16 to 35 GF4 lens. Um, oh look, that's product showcase working right there. I'm trying to show you this. Cool. Anyways, um, so this is the larger sort of setup. Since this is here, let's go ahead and test the onboard microphone right here. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. Okay, and another thing I wanted to test while I have you guys here right now is the zoom rocker. So again, I am using an APS-C lens and this is the 11 millimeter f1.8, meaning it cannot zoom, but I'm gonna show you with clear image zoom that you can fake a zoom without really losing quality. So here we go. So I'm not sure what this focal length kind of resembles, but it can kind of just show you how to fake a zoom. Cool. All right, so here we have our Lego flowers, some dry flowers here that also last a very long time. Aromatech. This is again, my friend's artwork. I'll link him down below if you guys are interested. Let's go see Heiko. Heiko, come here baby. Let's go to Animal there. Hi sweetheart, how are you? Hi. You wanna do spin? Ready? Spin. Good girl, sit. Good girl. High five. Good girl. So now we're on this AI auto framing and as I move about, the camera should follow me. I'm up close now, but as I get farther towards the shelves, it should pan out. It should kind of follow me over here. So as you can see, it's kind of like center stage. It almost looks like we have a cameraman. Cool for like a cooking segment if I'm cooking and I'm moving around, grabbing a pot here. The next thing I wanna show you guys is the high sensitivity of this sensor. Let's go in to 
to their bathroom. And so it's okay, because you have this door here providing all the light. My ISO is going up. We're at 16,020. But I mean, that's insane. It's just a flicker of light right here. And I feel like the quality, what is going on? Let's see if I even just shut the door completely. So the only light source is from the LCD and a little bit of that tally light. So we're almost in complete darkness and I am still able to somewhat record. So if you're someone who camps a lot and has camping footage, this would be a really good vlogging camera for you because it is virtually <laughs> unbeatable when it comes to low light capabilities. All right, y'all, so I guess that's kind of all I wanted to show you today for my first impressions. If you guys um, see any vlogs moving forward, it will probably more than likely be filmed on the Sony ZV-E1. I am retiring officially my Sony a7 IV for video work. I'm gonna keep that in my photography sort of workflow. I might use it if I need a B cam. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Um, I know there are a ton of reviews online about this camera by professionals, but I feel like I haven't really seen, you know, just normal vloggers who are learning videography. I'm just gonna keep using this camera. If anything comes up, I'll let you guys know. But other than that, as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you can, try to choose happy over sad today, and I will catch you in the next video.